My name is Jacob Johnson. The year is 2020, and I'm a senior in high school. But in 2012, I was in fourth grade, and had one of the best teachers of my education. I was this awkward, curly-headed kid. Twice exceptional, meaning I was qualified both for the advanced gifted classes as well as special ed. As a result, for much of my early education, where I belonged remained a mystery. But in fourth grade, I got put in Jeff's class. Jeff Tuttle is a beautiful man and a fantastic teacher. He's full of lessons and has worked diligently at Monta Vista Elementary for 27 years. He's well known in the Albuquerque teaching community and has won a Golden Apple Award for Excellence in Teaching. As a fourth grader, I didn't know any of that, and I don't know that I would have cared if I did. For me, Jeff's class was the place where everything started to make sense. Jeff's classroom is this chaotically beautiful whirlwind of ever-evolving education, where controlled mess is an expected byproduct of education. And for my curious, easily distractible brain, it was perfect. And eight years after I first stepped foot in his class, I found myself there again, with purpose. The transition from awkward kid to anxious teen was a difficult one, and by the time I had finished it, I was a junior at Amy Beale High School, and it was time for me to pick my senior project. When the idea to work in that class which had meant so much to me arose, it became the only choice right for me. So I emailed Jeff, and here we are. This year, I worked in Jeff's class as a volunteer slash student teacher slash teacher's assistant slash living legend. The opportunity to work with Jeff as his mentee in his class gave me a view of my teacher I had not seen before. The artful disorganization of his classroom where a thousand things are always happening on purpose. As a teenager, learning to live with a disorganized mind, I couldn't imagine a better place to learn the strengths of wandering thought. A hugely influential part of being in Jeff's class has been working individually with students. Working with kids is just like working with anyone else, in that you learn as much about yourselves as you do each other. In my experience, the difference between kids and adults is that kids are genuine, and these kids loved me. Walking into class every day led to an eruption of cheering and a tidal wave of hugs every time. The relationships I've developed with some of these students will continue to affect me for the rest of my life. Of all the kids in Jeff's class, the ones I related to the most were the most disorganized, and as a result, very few of them turned in their permission slips, and their stories will have altered names. Kid 1 is one of the bubbliest, most energetic, and most distractible kids in class. He's very creative and passionate when it comes to what he cares about, but concentrating on what he needs to get done while being in a room surrounded by his friends can be extremely difficult. Kid 1 and I worked together on a dictionary assignment, and as we were working, it became obvious that he was struggling to understand the word we were defining. So I broke it into his parts to help him understand and even make it interesting to him. I've heard a lot of teachers talk about the feeling when a student finally actually understands, and now I get it. Kid One taught me to pay attention, and together we learned how to adjust to boring material into interesting learning. Kid Two was very similar, where she was clearly deeply creative and interested in play, but struggling to stay focused on what needed to get done. We worked through her vocabulary assignment by adding one detail to a piece of clay I was fidgeting with every time she got a new word right. And by the end, we had a small robot named Edamame. Kid 2 taught me how to mix work and play to make tedium go faster. Kid 3 was the happiest kid in class with the broadest smile and the most interest in working with me. When I arrived, she cheered the loudest and hugged the tightest. Working with her always made my day but I quickly found out that when I wasn't there, she was quiet and reserved. This shocked me because of how different that Kid 3 was from the Kid 3 I had fallen in love with, and it quickly became obvious that she lived a much harder life than I could see. Sometimes someone would come to class to give her bags of groceries to take home, and I learned that while not at school, she was taking care of her siblings as best she could. Learning this made her smiles feel even brighter and her hugs feel even tighter. Then, about halfway through the year, she stopped coming to class. We found out that because of a custody dispute, she had been moved to another school district. She taught me the one lesson that I'm terrified to have to relearn, and that sometimes there's just nothing I can do to help. Getting comfortable working in Jeff's class has had as much to do with relearning personal confidence as understanding teaching. I've learned countless priceless lessons about the world and life from these kids and the work I've been able to do with them has felt deeply meaningful. Suddenly, in 2020, the whole world stopped for a massive pandemic event, and one of the casualties was Monta Vista Elementary School. But life goes on. 
Jeff's disorganized improvisational teaching style has been described as many things. My favorite by far is that he teaches like a pirate, meaning that he will take advantage of any and every tool he can get his hook hand on. Often this means using recycled materials for projects in creative ways, or having technology be a fundamental part of his class for interactive lessons. This fluidity has made the transition to a digital teaching interface a relatively smooth one, and because of this, I will be able to keep working with him as a part of his community through the end of the year. Working in Jeff's class has been and will continue to be a deeply personal experience that will follow me for the rest of my life. The people that make up Jeff's class will grow to be wonderful adults and continue to inspire me to be wonderful myself. Thank you.